Dr. Tameru. Yo, we're back, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we're currently dying. <laughs> All right, you uh, want you want the knockabotch? Sure. I am Dr. Nakabachi. Thank you all for coming. Nakabachi takes the microphone and begins to speak, his voice brimming with confidence. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to begin with my theory of time travel. The greatest scientific breakthrough of the century. Ooh. <laughs> Nani? Did he really build a time machine? I love how they draw the eyes. Like, that looks kind of dope. Right, right. Mayuri appears to be writing her name on the metal upa. She's a bit late in more ways than one. What does she think a time machine presentation would be about? Upas. I take another look around the room. At least in this one, it's not just empty chairs the whole time. They actually drew people <laughs> in the chairs. I'm gonna set that down because it's gonna fall, making a lot of noise. And some dude walking from. Yeah, dude, fucking you know. sit the fuck down. Hey, down in front. <laughs> <laughs> there are about 20 people now, including us. But still no media presence to speak of, even though there were reporters on the roof when there was the explosion. <laughs> right. So this is the extent of Dr. Nakabachi's fame. No one believes that he invented a time machine. I was interested in what he had to say, true, but my expectations were no higher than the rest of the onlookers. And a good thing they weren't. As he proceeds to explain his time machine design, my curiosity quickly turns to disappointment, then anger. Doctor! I would actually yell, but people are sleeping. Doctor! <laughs> My roar silences Nakabachi and draws the eye of every person in the room. Do you take us for fools? Who the hell are you? Who the hell am I? Someone who knows you for a fraud, that's who! You stole your theory from John Titer, and you call yourself an inven in inventor? I almost said adventurer. <laughs> Someone throw this man out. You're the one we should throw out, Doctor. Have you no shame? You have no right to call yourself an advent inventor. I almost said adventurer again. What is this? <laughs> I am the greatest adventurer around here, you little shit. I used to be an adventurer like you until I took an arrow in the knee. Shut your mouth, you little pest. Just then, someone grabs my arm from behind. I'm convinced it's an official here to throw me out. I turn around and gl to glare him down. Unhand me, you! Huh? <laughs> okay. This is another main character. It's a girl about my age. Her intense stare seems to challenge me. I take a step back. Her face looks somehow familiar. Where have I seen her before? Uh... We haven't met, but I know her face. It's Makise Kurisu? Kurisu? I thought it was Kurisu. I don't know. <laughs> a few days ago, my friend Daru showed me a magazine article titled Girl Genius Gives Lecture in Akihabara. The article was about a 17-year-old girl who had just graduated from an American university. Her thesis was even published in a major scientific journal, so she's a real scientist, not like me. Oof. Girl genius, Makise Kurisu. I recognize the stubborn looking girl from her photograph. That's judgmental. She's even wearing the exact same scowl. Also judgmental. Patriarchy! That's terrifying. Her face? Yeah. She's about to go full fucking Sharingan on these bitches. What business could such a genius have with me? She takes a quick look... Take two. <laughs> she takes a quick look around the room, then turns back to me with a stern expression. Could you come with me for a moment? 
What's with the attitude? She's obviously not staff, and there's no way that the Maki could Kurisu words would be working with someone like Dr. Nakabachi. <laughs> words. Which means, no! You're with the organization! Huh? If their tendrils have gotten this far, then I've made a grave mistake. Stop fooling around and come with me. My outburst has already attracted too much attention. Nakabachi in particular looks like he wants to rip my head off. It must be mortifying to be exposed as a fraud by a bright young man like myself. Do you know who John Titer is? Nope. So, I think it was on 4chan? I can't remember for sure, but a while ago, I think it was early 2000s, there was a guy who claimed to be a time traveler. Oh, yeah, I know yeah, that guy. Okay. So, that's what they're referencing there. Ah. John Titer. The alleged uh, future man. Yeah. Anyway, I mustn't draw any more attention to myself. If the organization gets wind of my presence here, it could endanger my Yuri. To say nothing of these ignorant civilians. I let Makise Kirisu lead, lead me out of the assembly hall. It's the Japanese, man. It throws me off. <laughs> Turns out if you don't speak a language, reading it is hard. Try anything and the people... And people, not the people, people... I sure to notice. What will your superior say then? Do you like the people? <laughs> Do I like the people? NASA people. <laughs> what are you talking about? She glares at me, quite fiercely at that. Attractive though she may be, there is no innocence in her eyes. A beautiful agent, unmatched in cruelty. My heart beats in exhilaration from the danger. Looks like chaos really does get my blood pumping. <laughs> I just need to ask you something. What makes you think I'll answer? I know how the organization operates. What's with this organization stuff? Instead of answering, I take out my phone and put it to my ear. It's me. I've been caught by an organization agent. Yes, it's Makise Kurisu. She's a dangerous one. No, it's fine. I'll find a way to... Bop. <laughs> Just Bop grabs the phone. <laughs> Kirisu suddenly snatches the phone from my hand. What skill? I didn't have time to react. What are you doing? Huh? Your phone's off. Who are you talking to? Her eyes pierce deep in, into my soul. I quickly look away. She's good. Is she trying to attack my sense of identity in order to cause a mental break? Recover. This isn't enough to sway me. Y your techniques don't work on me, but I'll tell you anyway. That's no ordinary phone. It's designed to deactivate the moment it leaves my hand. <laughs> right. Such measures are necessary to maintain secrecy. I know things that could get me killed. This guy sounds more and more like Alex Jones. <laughs> Every fucking <laughs> sentence. I quickly retrieved my phone and wiped the cold sweat off my forehead. Phew, that was close. No, no, you get back here. You're a coward, and you're a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> so you talk to yourself? Gah. This is bad. Ordinary methods don't work on Makise Kurisu, the genius girl. On the contrary, she's the one psyching me out. Damn, looks like I'll have to make a tactical retreat. If I could just find an opening... Suddenly, Kurisu steps up to me with a serious expression. She stares right at me, her huge eyes blazing from blazing with strength of will. Such fire, I can't look away. I told you she was going to go sharring on some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Could someone with such pure eyes really be an organization agent? What were you trying to tell me earlier? 
earlier. What are you talking about? About 15 minutes ago, before the conference started. Nonsense. This is the first time we've met. I was with Mayuri and that Upa toy 15 minutes ago. You were trying to tell me something, right? You look really upset. Is this a trap? It does seem like one of the organization's dirty tricks. But would this girl do something that underhanded? You looked like you were going to start crying any second. Why, have we met before? She seems sincere. That makes her even more suspicious. That's right. Don't let her beauty fool you. <clears throat> She's a cold, calculating secret agent. Calculated. Calculated. If I show the slightest vulnerability, I'm done for. I'll get jabated. And how do you know my name? My knowledge has no limits. I am a mad scientist, after all. <laughs> Genius girl, our next meeting shall be as enemies. Huh? Farewell. <laughs> I spin around and take off down the stairs, ignoring her call to stop, like I'd listen to the enemy. Alright. What does she think I am, an idiot? <laughs> Damn the organization. They must be serious if they're sending in agents like her. Run all the way down to the fourth floor and check behind me. Once I'm convinced Makise Kurisu isn't tailing me. Oh, that's why it confused me. Don't put conjunctions on Japanese names. <laughs> it confuses me. I sigh while rubbing my temples. <sighs> <sighs> but I can't let them capture me yet. Well then, what do I do now? My mission was to attend the conference and evaluate Dr. Nakabachi's research. Now that I know he's a fraud, there's no real point in going back. I guess I'll just go home. And scene. <laughs> but wait, aren't I forgetting something important? Let's see now. What is it? Damn, I left my Yuri behind. Rip. I knew she'd be a liability. I shouldn't have brought her along. It, I was trying to prioritize her safety, but got careless. I'll try calling her first. If she's alright, then I can just have her meet me here. Oh, I actually turned it on. With that thought in mind, I take out my phone. I turn it on. And it rings just as I do. Hmm? An email? What the kappa? not just a regular email, there's a video attached. And it's from an unknown address. <clears throat> mm. Voice. Don't give up now. I open the video file with some trepidation. <coughs> hmm? There's nothing but noise. Is this a prank? Or some sort of Makise Kirisu style attack? Maybe the noise is some sort of people go crazy frequency. No, wait. I don't remember giving her my mail address. So I'm probably just thinking too hard. I curse myself for being gullible enough to play the video. I have more pressing matters to deal with anyway. Oof. I stop the video and call my Eerie's phone from my address book. That's a phone number. <laughs> Damn it, Mayuri, why won't you pick up? Looks like I'll have to go back to the assembly hall. But things will get messy if I bump heads with Makise Kirisu again. Wait, don't tell me. I, I, I never know how to say this word. I know how to say that word, not this word. Did that femme fatale kidnap Mayuri? Damn you. Is that how the organization operates? Leaving without my area isn't an option. Call me overprotective, but she's like a little sister to me. And there's a very real danger that she might wander off somewhere at the moment. Somewhere the moment I let her out of my sight. I like how it's still calling. 
My area has always been like that. I never know if she'll be there when I turn to look. In a sense, that's why I became Hoin Kioma. I have to go back for her. The thought of climbing back up to the eighth floor is depressing, but I have no choice. That's why there's an elevator. When I get back to the assembly hall, Dr. Nakabachi's conference has just finished. Nobody is on stage, and the phony adventure has already left. Right click. The twenty or so members of the audience are starting to pack up. I soon find my ear. <clears throat> She's in the corner, looking lost. Well, at least she wasn't kidnapped. Even better, I don't see Makise Kurisu around. Heh, <laughs> looks like I scared her off. So be it, I'll let her go this time. Still, I keep my eyes peeled as I run up to Mayuri. Oof. Oof. Mayuri, why didn't you pick up? We're leaving. Oh, Karin, my metal Oopa ran away. She turns to me with a forlorn expression. Ran away? What? It's alive? That's a little hard to believe. I think I dropped it. I see, so she was looking for it. Not like it really matters. Forget about it, you can always get another one. No way. Metal Ubas sell upwards of 10,000 yen online, you know. That is... $9,100. It's not true. $91. <laughs> 9,100 cents. <laughs> Man, you be rich as shit in Japan, huh? Not really. Like, they don't have a sense system like we do, but their shit's still basically the same. Like, a dollar thing for us is like a hundred yen for them. Oh. Wait. What? I have no clue. That toy was worth that much? Think, Mayuri, where did you drop it? <clears throat> My voice is going, man. I don't know. That's why I'm looking. And even if we find it, you can't <clears throat> sell it, okay? <laughs> that 10,000 yen will fund my research. I said you can't sell it. It even has Mayushi's name on it. <clears throat> Thus begins our search for the metal Upa. Tutoru, Upa, Upa, come out, come out, wherever you are. Mayuri tries calling its name. I don't know if she truly expects a response. By the way, Tutoru is Mayuri's catchphrase. It's like, hey, I'm right here. Yeah. Yo, over here, bruh! <laughs> it means, actually, I've never asked, I've never bothered to ask what it means. Anyway, the metal Upa is nowhere to be found. Maybe she didn't drop it in the assembly hall, but on the seventh floor landing near the capsule toy machines. That was a weird sentence. <laughs> Another possibility is that someone with an eye for rare items pilfered it. Just imagine the smug grin on that person's face as... Wait, what? Just imagine me. The smug grin on that person's face makes me writhe in envy. Yes. What kind of man steals a helpless girl's toy? Is there nothing his heart in his heart but the lust for money? Says the guy going to go sell the toy. <laughs> We're just, Sounds we're like just, you, Okarin. Just gonna keep going, I guess. <laughs> Whoa, wasn't expecting that from Mayuri. Um, I don't know who this is. Ah. Uh. <laughs> when you're dead inside. W what was that? Uh. Oh, never mind, I know who that was now. Was that a scream? I think so, I say without actually responding. <laughs> Only the presenter and a few other people are left in the assembly hall. Including Mayuri and me, less than half the audience remains. Everyone looks at each other anxiously, startled by the scream. Even I cannot suppress a shiver. First the explosion on the roof, now this? What's going on here? Mayuri squeezes my hand tight. Stay here, Mayuri. I take a deep breath, 
prepare myself and head in the direction of the scream. I die. The echoes lead me down a dark, empty hallway on the same floor. Pretty sure it came from around that corner. I crouch down and turn the corner slowly, keeping my eyes and ears peeled for any sign of danger. And there, at the end of the passage, I see it. There's something on the ground. No, someone. Motionless. Who is it? I guess we'll find out next time. I think it's Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs? Alex Jones and Steve Jobs? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, so... Steve Jobs was the one that put chemicals in the water to turn the frogs gay. Uh-huh. And then he funded um, George Soros' plan okay. to build that time machine for the doctor. Mm. Okay? The doctor was just there to based on an Based on an internet meme from the early 2000s? Yes. Yeah. The doctor was only there to present the time machine funded by Steve Jobs mm. into George Soros. Therefore, okay. Alex Jones mm-hmm. is true media, not fake. <laughs> uh, yeah. Peace. Yeah. Um, We've later. cracked the code. <laughs> Brad Meltzer's decoded.